non c'erano rivali per strada con questo tipo di veicolo, no, era, era un veicolo estremo. Era bello però arrivare sempre sotto tutte le vetture varie sportive di quel periodo, vedevano una cosa così grossa e molta gente si chiedeva ma cos'è quel coso? È stato l'uovo di Colombo che ha, che ha permesso alla nostra azienda di, di emergere anche per questo genere di veicolo. È una macchina che è divertentissima da usare. Sui 180 km h 200, perché era facile arrivare a queste velocità, lo spostamento d'aria creava un turbinio, boom, come se fosse passato un aereo a bassa quota e vedevi dallo specchietto retrovisore la, la nube di, di polvere alzarsi, ah, è eccezionale. Si poteva saltare dei fossi ed entrare in campagna e darci giù. E cioè divertirsi, è divertirsi. Quando la si conosceva bene trasmetteva emozioni, emozioni pure. Questa è una vera Lamborghini, punto. When you see the architecture of the LM, it's amazing, you know, because all the four seats are really put it on the outside of the car and you have this massive center tunnel. Of course, with our new car, we are much more efficient in terms of package, so the seats are closer together, but we are having also a lot of space uh, in the interior. But in terms of design, uh, when you look at the LM, there are some really also rugged looking surfaces, but they are also perfectly, uh, uh, you know, to integrate some displays today, uh, because we, the Uros will have really the latest uh, technology in terms of connectivity, in terms of display. For me, it's really impressive, you know, because, you know, you, ca you cannot have a more proud and robust looking front end than this one. It was really impressing me a lot. I mean, with the bull bar here and, you know, really rugged looking. I really like the front uh, in terms of uh, engine bonnet because, I mean, look at that. It's housing the Countach engine V12. And look at that uh, power dome. It is, an, uh, it is almost a 10 centimeter step of a power dome. Yeah? So this is something that we really like. And in a kind of unexpected way, we are taking some inspiration of these lines and did an interpretation on the, on the Urus. One thing in the body side um, for me are the wheel arches. The general feeling, of course, of the LM is really proud, you know, the car is really tall. Um, so we will, be, we will be, with the new Uros, we will be much, much lower and it will be really outstanding in terms of proportion. But we, for example, we like the idea of the wheel arches. It's also the heritage of Lamborghini. The rear wheel arch of the Countach is also kind of angled. And we took uh, that theme on the front and on the rear on the Uros. LM002 was uh, an incredible project that was born in the 80s. Uh, but before of that, uh, we have to remember that in the 70s, Cheetah was the origin of this uh, idea. Uh, in that time, I don't even think that the, the suffix was SUV, but was a, a great innovative project on which there was the chance to, let's say, share the super sport approach that was part of the Lamborghini heritage together with a different uh, spec of a car that uh, was used for a different purpose. LM002 was producing uh, 300 uh, units and that uh, once again is current with the strategy of Lamborghini. As always, we need to be uh, sure that our product have a value for a niche and uh, that was also for this project a very specific uh, uh, requirement that started in, uh, as we said, in the 80s. The LM002 was uh, able to unify 
the two heart of Lamborghini. The super sport DNA of the car, so V12 Kuntat engine, so very powerful. At that time, 450 horsepower, so super good. And with this new dimension, with the big wheels, uh, with the, this, uh, as we call today, SUV approach, the specification of this car uh, was all, always very, very interesting by a lot of very special people. And uh, that's why this car today has a great value and is in the hand of super special people.